Hmm, maybe I... Who the heck are you? Greetings, everybody. Welcome back to my channel, Howling Alpha, the host, Alpha Sorry. We're back at it with Sally Face. We just finished Chapter 1. We are on now Chapter 2. And right off the bat, Larry showed us his hidden treehouse, I guess. And he was telling us about how he had bad luck ever since his dad, you know, disappeared. And um, he thinks he's cursed. Everyone around him dies. And we're trying to find out if, there, if the complex is haunted, what's going on with the murders. And we have to try to find some clues. So if you're down with that, leave it a like. It lets me know on YouTube know that y'all enjoy my content. It helps boost up. My channel and subscribe to you on the wolf pack. Always happy to have new wolves. And without further ado, let's get right into the story. Okay, oh. Let's see here. Cabinet. Nothing useful. Picture. Aww. Always game boy. Gear boy. Sorry. That's. Oh, that's strange. You know, his dad kind of looked like an officer in a way. The one that was rude to us? What is that? I found this Gear Boy cartridge in the Lost and Found. We didn't even find it. We found it in our room. The cartridge in the Lost and Found a while ago, I think it reacts to supernatural activity. Was that one of the last pictures we took? That was one of the pictures we took together. Not long before he disappeared. Hmm, I better keep looking. Okay. I should look around here first. Oh, now we can open the chest. Sweet. Okay. Um, natural life. A bunch of natural... A bunch of Nate natural. I just realized it says nature, not natural. I don't know what my brain was thinking. A bunch of nature and outdoorsy magazines. Seems like Larry's dad is the opposite of my dad. Ma all the mag the magazines are all old from six years ago or more. Doesn't look like anything useful though. Let's see what else we find here. That was horrible. I don't, I don't know why my brain doesn't want to comprehend the words. A worn leather jacket. There was a couple of old concert tickets in the pocket. I guess that's when where Larry gets his taste in music. Seems like a nice way to bond. I don't think I even watched a concert on TV with my dad, let alone go in live. Aw, Sal. Some kind of weird small box in here. It looks like it's sealed shut. Let's take it, because it's the only thing it even allowed us to take. What's in the box? I have no idea, man. Oh. <clears throat> mm -mm. I have no idea, man. I have no idea, man. It belonged to my dad. It's some kind of puzzle box. Never could figure out how to open it, though. Maybe I can. Looks like there's a small piece missing. Oh, yeah. You're right. I never noticed that before. Do you mind if I hold on to it? Nah, go ahead. Cool. Cool. Let me know if you get it open. I completely forgot what his voice was. <laughs> See, I'm horrible at that. I know Sal was normal, so. Of course. Can we leave now? Cool. Oh, Larry. Larry is tall compared to me. How old is he? I look like a little boy. Larry looks like an adult. Ish. Like, look, look at the size comparison. Alright. Larry. That was his name. That was the accent. I'm gonna look around and see what else I can find out. Alright, sounds good. I thought I have to stay here and take care of my mom. She's super sick. Yeah, I noticed that. Well, let me know if there's anything you need. Thanks, Sally. Hmm. I should ask Megan if she knows anything about this demon. I hope she come out today. What? Who's Megan? I don't. I don't know. Wait. Let me. Let me. Let me open this real fast. 
Hey, can I see his mom? Oh, man. Hey, Lisa, you feeling better today? Oh, hiya, Sal. I think today might be the worst of it. Once it's over, once it, once I'm over this hump, I'll be right as rain. Which is good because there's so much work that needs to be done. I'm just itching to get back to it. Take it easy for now and get some rest. Oh, don't worry about me, Sal. I'll, I've been resting plenty and Larry has been so helpful too. I'll be just fine. Her room. Wait, can we go any further than this? No. Hmm. Anything we can... Is that demon still here? No. Okay. Good. I didn't want to see it. Um... Living... Okay, there's nothing I can interact with here. So I guess we're done here. I wanted to make sure that the gear boy didn't react to anything in his room. Yo, the snack machine's all gone. Snacks. The snack machine is empty. Jeez. It looks like the machine is empty. Chug? Oh! Hey, Chug! Yeah. So was my tummy. Oh, Chug. Chug, what are you doing up to? Or, Chug, what are you up to? Hi, Sally Face. I'm waiting for a, the snack guy to fill the machine. I can't start my Saturday without chocolate. I hear ya. I like starting off the weekend with video games and cartoons. Did you see that Rico's Modern Modish Wife episode? Are they talking about Rocco's Modern Life? That old cartoon I used to watch? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love that cartoon. Yeah, that was great. I love that show. Me too. Laundry? Anything? Wash their clothes down here. Lost and found. Doesn't look like anything I can use right now. Oh, I thought you said there was a cartonage or something you found in there. I didn't know. Uh, we're on B. Let's go to one. We gotta search these halls to see if there's anything we need. All right. Gibson. Okay, can't go anything there. I think Miss Gibson would kill me if I bothered her again. Oh yeah, she was that rude girl, huh? Who needed to brush her teeth. Who is it? It's Sal from upstairs. Is there something you want? I just wanted to talk to you. Oh, to me? Alright, come on in then. The door is open. She's the old woman, right? Yeah, yeah. Hello there, Sal. What brings you... What brings a young girl like yourself to this old woman? Sally's a boy. I'm, I'm pretty sure he said it was a boy. Sally called him a dude. His dad said son, so... I think this woman thinks I'm a girl because my pigtails. <laughs> Hi, Miss Rosenberg. I wanted to ask you a few things, if that's okay. Ask away, child. Oh, wait, what was her voice? Has to go away, child. I may not have much left, but time is all I've got now. Yes, that's all I have. Even that'll slip away soon. That'll soon slip away from me. That's kind of sad. Or maybe I'll never really had a grasp of it all. Such a strange concept, isn't it? Time, sitting here alone, the mind can drift. A great deal wondering what's beyond the veil. Get too deep in those thoughts and the world will make less and less sense. That's... yeah. Yeah. I can, I, can, I can flow with that. Yes, time is an enigma. Oh, but listen to me rambling on. I'm sorry, dear Sally. You had something to ask? Um... let's just go down the list. How long have you lived here? Long indeed, though I had hard to say exactly. My old mind can barely hold on to the memories of yesterday anymore. Let alone the distant past. I'm afraid these days are nearing to the end. Soon I'll return to dust, and my unconsciousness will merge with 
the great and mysterious nothing. Avoid that impossible for our little brains to wrap their heads around. And trust me when I say, I've tried. Yes, a powerful, dreadful emptiness of nothing, empty nothingness. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. I've been rambling on again. What was your question? It's okay, Miss Rosenberg. I was asking how long you lived in the Addison apartments. You know, I can't remember when the Addisons moved here from overseas to contract this building. Actually, this land belonged to my family first. Oh, really? But I decided to sell the Addisons since I was the only one remaining. I thought the company would be nice to have again, someone to share the anguish of, of life with. I was young and desperate for a, few, for a new beginning. What a foolish girl I was. You regret, you regret selling the land? A life as old as mine will fill with regrets, my dear. Though it will eventually become meaningless. Jeez, okay. Um, we'll see about this one, and if it just keeps going on, I'll we'll do the ghost things. Whatever happened to the rest of the family? Do you live around? Do they live in town? Live around town? Goodness. They're gone. Gone. Time takes us all, Sally. Poor little Tr Poor little Terrence, that's the last us of the family. Oh, I suppose he's not so little now, and that's how I see him. As long as a boy with a twinkle in his eye and head filled with dreams. Now look at him. He never leaves his godforsaken room. Yeah, that's... Yeah, why does he stay locked away in there? He went... He went a little kooky after his family passed. If you ask me, the boy was wound up. Was wo was wound up. He was afraid of his own shadow. Terrence worshipped his father and gave up on his dream of opening a tea house in order to run in his family his father's apartment. Slowly but surely he began from finding himself in the safety of his room until the day he stopped coming out altogether. Yes, despite the cheerful persona he puts forth. From behind that door of his, Terrence Addison is about as timid as they come. Damaged by the life of misfortunes. But aren't we all, my dear? Yes, I suppose we are. <clears throat> Goodness gracious. Alright. So, Addison, we need to learn a little more about him. Good to know. Have you ever seen ghosts around in the apartment? Ghosts? Why haven't told you worry about such a thing as ghosts? Sally, you're such a sweet young girl, you remind me of myself from another time. Do old Rose a favor. Enjoy your life while it lasts. Don't be consumed by the allure of death and its many secrets. I know, yes. Yes, it's quite tempting and very easy to get pulled in. Why, you could you, you could say we are all ghosts, really. Just waiting to pass from this place to the next. Such a thin membrane that separates the existence from non-existent. With our frail bones and delicate castings, any small misstep could send us reeling into the eternity of the blink of an eye. Oh my goodness. Bye. <laughs> <coughs> All right. Um thank you for uh doing that. Oh, Mr. Addison, may I help you sell? What's with the new cameras? Didn't your father receive an invitation to a monthly meeting? Everything gets discussed there. Oh, um yeah, I guess we just kind of forgot about it. That's not a problem at all, though I do suggest you join the next meeting in the future. If you're able, that is. You see, it keeps everyone informed and up to date. Anyhow, to answer your question, I have a few security systems put in for everyone's safety. With all the recent events and ter the tenants who are getting a bit nervous, my hope is that this is a new state of art security system in place where everyone can feel more comfortable living in the apartment living arrangements. 
That makes sense. Thank you for catching me up on that. My pleasure. Have you seen any ghosts around here? Oh, heavens to Betsy! Please don't tell me my building is haunted. The last thing I need right now is some presumptuous phantoms frightening my tenants. I'm having a hard time keeping everyone happy while Lisa's sick. No, no, it's okay, Mr. Addison. Everything's okay. I was, um, just working on paper for school, and yeah, that's it. Ooh, I nearly had a heart attack there. Simply cannot handle any more stress stressors at the moment. You're doing a great job. Try not to be so hard on yourself. You're too kind, Sal. Goodbye. Yeah, okay, let's... I think this is Charlie, right? Yeah. And... Oh, I didn't see this! Okay. Oh, this front door. Uh, it doesn't look like I can get out of the front door, so we're gonna continue. Oh, man. Let's go to two. Alright, let's... Let's go... Oh, yeah, strange sawing noise. Okay, nothing. I really don't want to bother him right now. He's usually tutoring on the weekends. Oh, okay, so that's Todd. People that lived here moved out recently with Char what happened to Charlie. Yeah, this is Charlie's old place. Ooh, it's completely empty. Nope, nothing in the bathroom. I'm surprised we can actually go into this place. Man, that smell is still lingering. I definitely am not going in there. Oh, yeah, pretty sure. All right, I thought maybe, maybe Charlie had some secrets, but I guess not. Alrighty, go up to the third floor. <sighs> hmm. All right, let's. Pretty busy right now. I probably shouldn't bother him. All right. Oh my gosh, he scared me again. Oh hi, Sal. What's you what you been up to today? Hi, David. Uh, what happened to your pants? Oh well, there was a wash. They're in the wash still. Sarah was supposed to go and get them, but that just got to talking, and you know, lost track of time. I don't know how my brain could do that, but couldn't do basic English. Yeah, for sure. The ghosts in my past keep keep me awake at night, at least the time. I barely get any sleep around here. Oh, what about like spirits of someone else used to live here? Sally, Sally, Joe. Sally G, gotta be laying off the drugs, man. Trust me, you'll get better life for it. Better life for it. Don't make the same mistake I did. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye. Chug is downstairs. Okay, so that's Chug's place. We are getting names of people that live in their apartments, finally. There was a lot of knocking in the beginning of the previous episode that... We had no idea. Okay, so we're on three. Let's go to four. God, the way he talks. I swear. Oh, jeez. Oh, there's an extra room in this floor. I don't think anyone lives here. Maybe they left what happened to next door. Yeah, this was the murder. This is my place. I won't go in there yet. Let's go to this one, Roberts. He must not be home. Alright, let's go to my room. There's gotta be something in my house. Oh. Gizmo, you uh, watching TV there, buddy? What you watching, buddy? Okay, my room looks normal. Or my ba my kitchen looks normal. Let's go to the bathroom. Um, someone needs to change the litter box. Because that's disgusting, Gizmo. You're looking like a human. I'm not. I don't appreciate that. Oh, I just went, I just went outside. I'll come back inside. Gizmo, definitely human. For sure. Alright. That accent, though. I can't get it out of my head. 
Hey, Dad. I can't talk right now, Sal. I have to make a deadline for work. Okay. Anything I can interact with, no? I just got in my room, I guess. Hey, Edward Shovel Hands. Twine Parks. Vampire Hunter B. I know what all these posters are supposed to be. The guitar makes noise. Can I, can I turn off my TV? Oh, look! I do have medicine. Interesting. I wonder if it's like antidepressants and stuff from when his mother passed. Or if it's more more uh, illness related. I wonder. Interesting. Huh. This floor is definitely haunted. There's no doubt about that. Alright. Let's see. Locked. I don't know how any of these doors would be open. Oh my gosh. Something ate the bird. Okay. I, I'm not going to talk about that. Dude, this is super sketchy. Okay. It's locked. I should call Larry up here so he can meet Megan. Then he'll have to believe Addison Apartments are haunted. Sa Larry, are you there? I'm here. What's up? Can you come up to 504? Sure, my mom just took her medicine, so she'll be passed out for a while anyways. I'll be right up. I wonder who Megan is. Is that- could that be something I didn't unlock or something in the previous chapter? What is it? You wanted to show me. Come on, she's in the bathroom. She? Just come on. Oh, it's literally- Oh, look! There's hands right there! Hold on, let me- This was the old man. That's the bedroom. Okay. Where to go now? Okay, those are all these papers. Over here. Damn, the fifth floor rooms have seen better days. Shh! What? Just wait a minute. Megan, are you there? Hello? I want you to meet my friend Larry. I don't think anyone... I don't think there's anything here, dude. She might be afraid. She can be pretty shy, though. I haven't been able to get her to come out for a while. I hope she's okay. So you come up to this moldy bathroom and talk to a dead girl? How often do you come up here? I have been able to talk to her for a few times, but like I said, she hasn't been around lately. I'm not crazy, Larry. I'm going to prove this to you. Hey, I never said you were crazy, man. As weird as this is, I believe you, okay? You're my best bud, and if she helps with all this finding my dad, then I'm all for it. I really thought we'd be able to talk to her today. I had, a, I had this, just had this feeling. Dude, you know you should go talk to him. You know who you should go talk to? Todd. He'll probably, he's probably the smartest kid and also a supernatural... He's probably the smartest kid I know. And also, he, this supernatural stuff, like you are, I bet he could help somehow. Todd? Really? Huh. I never expected that he would be into stuff like this. Or into that stuff. He always seems so normal. Rational? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Okay, well, I'll go talk to him and see what I can find out. Alright, I'm gonna head back downstairs and make sure my mom's alright. Let me know if you find anything. Will do. So I guess Megan was just someone in the background that we were supposed I guess he was just talking to story wise. Alright, well Todd, I guess. I think it, that's, I think that was his name. Where did I I think he was like on the fourth second floor? I think he was on the second floor. Let's see. 
Yes, look at that time. Hey, it's Sally Face. Or hey, it's Sally Face. Okay, he has a uh, his friend over. Sorry, it took me a minute to answer. I was wrapping my, my tutoring session with Ashley. Have you two met? Hey, I'm Ash. Of course he likes her. I mean... <laughs> oh, okay. You must be Sally Face. I've heard so much about you. I, uh, me? You have? Yeah, all good things, I swear. I'm glad I finally got to meet you. Me too, or uh, you too. Um, I mean, it's nice to meet you as well. Can you be... Okay, you're stuttering, Sal. Can you be even more obvious? <sighs> I love that music, though. Oh my gosh. Well, I'd love to stay in chat more, but I have to get going. Thanks for helping me out, Todd. No problem. We can work more on algebra next week. Sounds good. I'll see you guys later. Hopefully I'll run into you again soon, Sally Face. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Enjoy the weekend, boys. I wonder if she stays in the Addison Apartments as well. You too. You alright, Sally? You seem a bit anxious. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm cool. Okay, so what brings you up this way? Ash seems nice. Is she a freshman too? What she... Okay, so Todd's gonna get that real fast that he likes her. <laughs> what is she like? Her full name is Ashley Campbell. She's a freshman, like us, and overall a nice person. She has some trouble with math, so I've been help tutoring her the past couple weeks. In exchange, she occasionally assists me on my art assignments. She sounds like a great friend. Sure, I suppose so. You didn't come here to talk about Ashley, though, so what's up? Oh, right. <laughs> Let's not tell him all the way. I see dead people. Um, let's go. Do you believe in ghosts? Real fast. I believe in the paranormal occurrences and possibility of conscious endurance beyond death. Why the hesitation? Despite having wait witness and despite having witnessed unexplainable phenomena firsthand, I would inquire concrete evidence to declare that certainly. That I believe in ghosts, though. I do find subjects to be quite fascinating. That makes sense. I need your help. Let's not say I see dead people. He's gonna be kinda weird. <clears throat> Thank you for telling me your story. I think I may have some assistance with your exploration of paranormal. Specifically, I have a suspicion that an apparition resides in, this ba in my bathroom. Huh, really? Yes, it does seem to be a bit strange coincidence that your Megan and my apparition are both found in bathrooms. However, it could also be the matter of the water pipes acting some sort of conductor for them. Though, that is only speculation on my part. Do you have a gear boy cartridge with you now? Yeah. Perfect. Let's check the bathroom. I don't know how a gear boy would, you know, summon things, but I don't know. I don't know. Lord knows my reading sucks today. It does. Anyway, so thank you for bearing with me. What do you usually do to call upon Megan? Does your gear boy always light up when she's near? It doesn't light up every time. Usually it just starts talking to her. Sometimes she comes out, sometimes she doesn't. Okay, go ahead and try the same thing here so we can attempt to summon the spirit. Hello, is anyone with us? We're not going to hurt you. We're your friends. Hello, is anyone there? Nothing is happening, and the game isn't lighting up either. Hmm, I have an idea. Let me see that. I bet I can modify your gear boy to help better detect supernatural hotspots. Cool, sounds good to me. I'll need two things near... I need two things in order to complete the alteration. First, I'll need to amplify the device reception, and second, something to boost the electrical output. So like an antenna and a battery pack? Sure. I'll be in my room once you're ready. Oh, so I gotta go find him. Nice. And he left me in his bathroom. How rude. Oh my gosh. You know, they're having a fun time in here. Todd.
I mean, his family seems normal. Todd's parents? Oh, big old Todd. Okay. Todd's parents are in there. I don't want to bother them. Alright, let's go see what his room looks like real fast. Oh, he has a puffer fish! Bob? I like your fish. That's Bob. He's okay. My parents insist that I need to needed more nature in my life to encounter the balance of techno this technology, as they put it. Right? You know, you can simple as that, just open up a window, but... Water floats your boat. Alright, let's see. Oh, that's our drone. Okay. So an antenna and a battery pack. Um, there might be a battery pack in my room and an antenna in my room too. Let's see. I click it way too fast thinking it's... Um... Does your mom care? She'll be alright. The change of seasons always gets to her. It's just like a bad cold. She'll be okay. Alright. Do you mind if I borrow the antenna for your scanner? Oh, um, that'll be okay. Sweet. Alright, I didn't think... Yeah, maybe you wanna hear it? Maybe later. I... I have no idea, guys. I guess I'll just give him the antenna, and then we'll work from there. Oh, reception. Oh, I have. I can choose my other guys. Hmm. Antenna. Yes, this will work perfectly. Um. Power. 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 Uh. My walkie-talkie has a battery. Oh my gosh! I can use my walkie-talkie that I have been forever. Dude, I was looking everywhere in this freaking apartment for a battery, and all I, all I could, I could have just used my walkie the whole time. Okay. Good to know. Thank you for making me go up and down the apartment like five times. Yes, the battery will work for your walkie-talkie will work. Well, yes, the battery from your walkie-talkie will work perfectly. Good thinking, Sally Face. With two components you received from, and my own equipment, I can... I can definitely make the modifications to the gear boy I spoke of earlier. Give me a moment to get ready. I'm sure Valeria would be okay with this walkie talkie being destroyed. Okay, all set. Behold and super gear boy. Um, cool. Don't worry, you can still play games on it. It'll just be for ghost hunting mode while the strange cartridge is in it. Oh, awesome. You had me worried for a second. However, unfortunately, needed a few extra parts from your walkie and wasn't able to salvage it. I hope it was alright. Oh man. Larry's not going to be happy with this. It's okay though. It's for a good cause. Yeah, hopefully we can find his dad with it. Wonderful. Now, for the best results, you can you need to use the system with the antenna to fully extend. To do so, press the shift button. And the screen will glow and detect any phenomenal frequencies in close pro proximity. While it's flashing, press R to produce a large electrical discharge. If my theory is correct, then your surge of electricity will provide an ample source of power to energize nearby apparitions and possibly other supernatural elements as well. He's talking about demons. Just so people know. Okay, I think I get the gist of it. I suggest you take it for a test run in my bathroom. Okay, sounds good. What is the ghost? What is it? What is the bathrooms like? A portal and the toilet kind of system we were talking about. Whenever you're ready, hold the super gear boy and press shift. Shift. Ah. Oh. Hmm. Maybe I. <laughs> Who the heck are you? That scared me. But he doesn't look like he's a bad guy. It worked! Holy crap, look at his pupils. He's like, oh my god. Hello, what's the matter? I never thought he'd kill him. I, it's all my fault, Gulstabreg. Who? 
Stacy and her daughter. Oh God, the f oh, what a fool I was to fall so for a married woman. Oh my gosh, I never, I, it's never a crime to follow your heart. You must. Oh, that was Sally. I forgot the voice change. You must be a romantic like I was. It's kind of you to say, but I know better than that. We want to help you. Why haven't you left this place? We can never leave. What do you mean? You can't pass on? What's holding him back? Demons. Demons hold him right back. I know this stuff. What is keeping you here? Have you seen the demon with red eyes? Can you tell us anything? Oh, no, 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 no! What, what, what is it? He's here! Oh, no. Who? The red-eyed man? The one who's killed Stacy and her daughter? I have to go. I'm sorry. Oh, do you see that mirror? Oh, gosh, he's here. What a fully formed and conscious apparition. I've never seen anything like it. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. It's just one of those things to read about the paranormal and formulate theories and then a whole other thing to actually experience it. I know what you mean. It's a lot to take in. Well, we have to some work to do. I think I may fill my excitement for today. So I'll stay here and do some research. I want to look into the history of Addison apartment to see if I can find anything about the past residents and about what supposed murders. That'd be really helpful. While you do that, I'm going to search for more apparition hotspots. Perfect. Oh, and by the way, I've noticed some extra static around some the game cartridge. You may want to check it out and maybe make sure it's okay. Okay. Well, the demon's in the mirror. He's watching us. So, let us go back. Let's talk to Larry. Because... I gotta apologize for that walkie, because I know he's gonna be mad. It's better to face things forward and get to the point. What's up, Chug? So wait on the kind of machine. Oh, Larry! Larry, hi. Check out the super gear boy. Todd made that? It's pretty awesome. Like, wait. Is that my walkie talkie? Oh yeah, he needed parts for the upgrade. I hope you don't mind. It can get us new I can get us new ones. Damn. Well, it's okay. Hopefully it'll help us find out more about these ghosts and my curse. Agreed. Um Have to visit Lisa Sal. Also Vista Sal. Bye. Um let's check on his mom one more time. She good? Yeah, she's still good. Okay, let's check out his bathroom. Oh look, they upgraded a picture! Oh, that's cool. Alright. Let's do static. Nothing here? Alright, nothing here. That's cool. Alright guys, <clears throat> this might be the end. Possibly, because... Um, cigar. <clears throat> yeah, so let's see. I've checked out everything I need to. We got some more information, especially that old woman telling us about Addison. Um, let us go back to the fifth floor one more time and see if we can talk to Megan. That would be our last conversation we'll have today. But I gotta make sure it's 504, right? That was the uh, apartment. Oh, bathroom's this way. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's see that static. She near the tub? No? Okay, okay. Last thing I'm gonna check is my actual room. Let's go to ours. And then we'll know, we'll see. Hopefully. Because he says he talked to me a couple times. So let's go to our place. Let's go to. That's my room. Let's go to our bathroom. What's up, Gizmo? Alright. Let's see. 
No, nothing. All right, that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and end this, end this episode off here. We didn't get to talk to Megan, sadly, but hopefully we'll figure out more of the story. We got our gear boy, our super gear boy. So now we can go actual ghost hunting and find all the hot spots in this hotel, or hotel, <laughs> apartment. Uh, get to know a little bit more of the backstory. I guess I have to go back to uh, the old woman yeah, or Addison to see more about it. Um, yeah, that's all we have for today. I don't know what is up next. The story is super cool. So glad everyone likes it so far. It's going to get crazy because I know these ghosts and stuff are going to start popping up. I don't know if we're going to get chased, cursed, you know, all this phenomenon stuff. But I'm super excited. I hope you do too. Leave us a video a thumbs up. It helps me and YouTube understand, know that y'all enjoy my content. And subscribe to the wolf pack. Always happy to have new wolves. And without further ado, I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.